Hey guys, welcome again and let's get into part B of question 8 on the CSEC uh, May 2011 paper. Now here in part B, in the previous video we looked at part A drawing the fourth diagram. So this diagram would be the fourth. So this is diagram number 3. So let me just quickly write that in diagram number 4 rather. So this is diagram, diagram four okay good now let's quickly get into this now now here they're asking us in part b here one they're asking us how many sticks are there in the six diagram okay well obviously here we have four diagrams so far all right one two three four now this kind of question usually you have to look at the sequence to see what is happening so let's just do some little checks and to see what's happening this would represent my first diagram okay so in diagram one i have a total of four sticks okay so i have a total of four sticks in diagram one all right now let's let's check the sequence um in diagram two i have a total of eight sticks and you can always count them so in diagram two i have a total of eight sticks okay uh, and these are just some neat little tricks um, i'm just showing you to analyze what is happening in diagram four obviously we if you should count the sticks we would have a total of 12 sticks okay so here i would have a 12 sticks now in diagram three i have 12 sticks in diagram four i have um 16 sticks obviously okay so in diagram four i would have 16 sticks now if you notice what is happening and let me just change the color here now as i was saying if you notice what is happening to move from my first diagram to my second diagram i had to add four to my six to, to my to my first set of sticks okay which was four so four plus four would give me eight now when I'm at my second diagram to move from my second diagram to my third diagram I had to add another four to my second diagram to get my third diagram okay now if you notice the same thing happened when I was at diagram three to get to diagram four I had to add another four sticks to diagram three to get to diagram four so if you notice what is happening there is a constant four being added okay and in a situation like this um, when you have to add a fixed number and in this case the four would be the fixed number this four here that we are adding okay not the first one but this four is the fixed term that we have to be adding now if you have a situation like that okay where you're adding a fixed term each time to the previous so in this case this would be the previous this four would be the previous and the eight here in the second diagram would be the next okay so if you have a situation where you have to add a fixed value to the previous to get to the next okay then you have what you call an arithmetic progression and we call that an AP series okay and an AP series just a quick little formula that you may find handy okay is a plus n minus 1 close bracket times a common difference of D okay now in this case the 4 here the first term a would represent the first term here and I'm going to circle it since diagram 1 had four sticks then diagram one is the first term okay so the a that I have there will represent my four for my first term now I am adding and n here and in this case is the number of terms we wanted to we want to find now here they're asking us to find how much would hold in this six diagram so what I'm gonna do I'm just going to move the n and substitute that for six and then I'm subtracting one close my bracket and if you notice the constant number which is this four there's a common four that I, I kept adding a common four here that I kept adding okay and that four I am going to say that is d okay i'm going to replace d with that four so basically what i have here now is that i would bring down my four and then i would plus then six minus one would give me a five and i'm multiplying that five by four okay so five fours would give me 20 and 20 plus four would give me 24 uh, and that's sticks i'm calculating okay so um yes guys it's that easy and it, this is a very useful formula to know especially when working with question eight okay because um usually some sometimes um quite often you have this pattern happening okay okay so in answering um part um part b one i could say okay there are 24 
24 sticks, okay? And that would be my answer for part B in the sixth diagram. There will be 24 sticks in the sixth diagram. Now, let's look at part B, part two. And so let's just pull this down a bit. Let me just get this. Now, this was B part one, so let's just put that there, B part one, okay? That's B part one, we just worked there. Now, let's just split this a bit, and we are going to work uh, B part two here now, okay? So let's just work B part two here, okay? Now, um, let's just pull this up a bit so that we have a little bit more space to work with, okay? Let's stop there, okay? Because I want to analyze the diagram a bit more with you. Now, um, this is pretty cool again. It's very interesting, guys. Now, here they're asking us how many thumbtacks are in the seventh diagram. So again, we're going to carry out the same procedure. We're going to analyze. We're going to look at the diagram. Let's count the the, the thumbtacks. In the first diagram, I have one, two, three, four. Let me take out my pointer. So we have one, two, three, four thumb, thumbtacks in the first diagram. Okay, in the second, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the third, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I, I, right there, by intuition, you would pick up that we have a sequence again, quite similar to the first. However, in the first diagram, I have four thumbtacks. Okay, so let me change my color here. Um, in the first diagram, I have four thumb tacks. Okay, oh, I should just write tacks for short. Okay, because it's pretty long to write out thumb tacks. So I have four tacks. Okay, let's check in the second diagram how many we had. We had seven, if you remember. Okay, we had seven tacks in the second diagram now in the fourth in the third diagram rather we had 10 tax we had 10 tax in the third diagram and in the fourth diagram if you should pause the video and check it you would have um one two three four i think you should get 13 based on what i'm seeing though i haven't checked it but based on the sequence that i'm picking up you should have uh 13 tax okay so obviously, again, what you see happening here is basically that each time I'm going up, when I left, when I, when I left the first diagram, I had to add a three. I had to plus three to go to my second diagram as it relates to the tax. Okay. Then I had to add three more to get to my third diagram. Okay. Then I had to add another three to get to my fourth diagram. Okay, so here you see a constant three again. So again, as I've said, once you realize you have a relationship such as that, we can call that an AP series. Okay, where again, our formula here that we have here. And if you're not sure, if you're not clear, very shortly, we'll be uploading a playlist on sequence and series where you're taught the basic concepts so you can understand it much clearer. Okay, so here again, this would be equal to I, as I've said, this A here, and I'm going to put it in green, this A here would represent my first term. And in the, in the first diagram, that's where you find your first term, I had four thumbtacks. So I'm going to replace that A with four, and then I'm going to say plus open bracket. And since they, the N is the number of terms I want to find, here they said it was a seven term, seven diagram they're dealing with. So I'm going to remove that N and, and I'm going to replace it with seven minus one. And then I'm going to close my bracket. Now the D here, let me change the color a bit. The D outside here now, this is the common number that I am adding. And if you notice, it's three there, it's three there, it's three there. Okay, each time I'm adding three. So I'm going to multiply that by three. That's the common number I'm adding. Now here, all we have to do is to just simplify that. We have a four being added to seven minus one in the bracket. Let's work that out first. So we would have a six, but the six inside the bracket is multiplying the three out there. So I'm going to times that by three. So six threes would give me 18 and 18 plus four would give us a 22. So 22 sticks would be our answer. Okay, guys. Sorry, my bad, not sticks, but thumbtacks. Let me just correct that. So we would have 22 thumbtacks, but I'm just writing tax for short, okay? And that would be our answer. Uh, if this video has helped you in any way, you can always feel free to comment. 
or if you have a question still, feel free to ask your questions and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.